review the FMS F4U Corsia 1400mm V3 Warbird. Arguably one of the best Warbirds of its time and we're going to put you inside this RC Plains cockpit with some epic FPV footage. Coming up. We're going to be doing two flights today, one clean and one with all of the rockets and the fuel tank on board. We're going to be first using a 5000 milliamp battery and then we're going to be using a recommended 2600 milliamp battery. The recommended batteries and the plane will both be linked in the description box down below if you're interested. Now before we get to our maiden flight of this beast of an RC plane, first we're going to do a quick overview. We have the plug and play version of this course here and that means you need to supply your own battery, charger, transmitter and receiver. We're going with the Spectrum NX8 radio and the 8 channel receiver that comes along in that combo. We'll have that combo linked down below if you're interested. And this is a 6 channel aircraft so you're going to have control over your ailerons, elevator, rudder, retracts, throttle and flaps. But we've also installed the Reflex Gyro so we get some flight stabilization. And in order to be able to change between the different flight modes, whether you have the gyro on or off, you need to have a seventh channel. That's why we've gone ahead with the eight channel receiver. And we'll get more into the flight modes when we get to the maiden flight of this Corsair. This plane came packaged really nicely as all of our planes and cars from FMS models have been. It comes with a really nice and easy to read instruction manual. And the good news guys is this plane is virtually glue free. Most of it all screws together apart from your small parts like antennas and the glue also comes in the box. The build of this Corsair was very easy and straightforward, only took a couple of hours, the longest part being the wiring and setting up the radio. The electronics come all pre-installed with 8 servos, a 70M ESC, a 4250, 540 kV brushless outrunner motor that is 4S capable. The F4U Corsair is one of the most well recognised warbirds of all time, along with the likes of your Spitfire and P51 Mustang. Now one unique thing that stands out from this plane is its wing design. It has what's known as an inverted gull wing. That is where from the wing root it bends down at an angle of 23 degrees, it then bends upwards at an angle of 8.5 degrees, giving it its dihedral wings, helping to improve its lateral stability. Now the the inverted gull wing design wasn't a stability issue but rather a propeller ground clearance issue. The real plane had an enormous propeller blade and in order to get that ground clearance it could go with longer struts or longer landing gear but by doing that you'd need to increase the reinforcement on the gear and that would increase the all up weight of the plane reducing its performance. Also there was the issue of retracting it into the wing, the gear would just be too big. So to get around this issue they had the inverted gull wing design meaning the gear could be fixed lower on the wing, it means the gear could be smaller, lighter fit into the wing fine when retracting, all while having the correct ground clearance for that massive propeller blade. This model does a really good job at replicating the undercarriage of a real Corsair with three tracks, it even has gear doors. It's just a shame that there's no suspension on the main undercarriage, that would really help improve its ground performance and make your landings look a bit smoother. And it would have been nice as well if we had a retractable tail wheel just like the real thing, but I do know that the larger scale of this plane, the 1700mm plane, does have that retractable tail wheel. Looking at the flaps, they're very scale looking, they're even broken up into three sections like the real plane, and you know, this plane overall has a good amount of detail for its size, all the decals are all stuck on from the factory so there was no mucking around with stickers or anything like that, but this plane overall is very nice looking and there is a man, that, there is a pilot that comes inside this plane but we took him out for that FPV camera. We're going to have this plane as well as a smaller and larger variant of this plane linked in the description box down below. Anyway that's enough talking, let's see if this plane flies as good as it looks. So we've got two flights for you guys, yesterday we took this on its maiden flight and it was super super windy. It's also had no bombs on it yesterday so it was completely clean, let's go check it out. Here we are at the airfield which is located at the beautiful Canterbury Park. With our beautiful course here. Now let me tell you something guys, it is windy man, it is a westerly day today and the winds are picking up, it might be 30 knots, 40 knots, it might even get to 50, it's gusting as well. These microphones are super high quality so you're probably not picking up the wind noise but there is a lot of wind going on and you'll see, you'll see when this thing gets up in the air. 
Hopefully he gets up in the air. Hopefully. The plan was to do two flights today. First on this recommended battery of 2600 milliamp four cell LiPo battery, but we forgot the adapter. So we're just doing one flight today with this 5000 milliamp four cell LiPo hard shell. Spectrum smart battery because... We smart. We smart. Although we're not very smart today because it's super windy and we said in our last meeting with the C47, don't fly on windy days. Otherwise this might happen. <laughs> Not to ever fly for your maiden in windy conditions, in gusty conditions, and we're doing exactly that today. I don't know if we'll ever learn. Show them my beautiful wiring, all right? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, it's not too bad, it's not too bad at all. We've got that reflex version two, give me that flight stabilization. Throttle cuts on. Oh, it works. Just let the, uh, let the gyro Do align dance. itself up. How are you feeling? I'm super nervous. Man, you know, we like our camera angles, guys. <laughs> ah. And uh, yeah, that's how we do it in the Mari world. See? We got that Insta 360 go to I took the little pilot out and now we've got our little minion pilot. Cockpit view camera is on, wing camera. Of course, this is gonna affect the control service here. Probably not the best place in the world to put it, but you know, whatever. Get that uh, view of the gear as it comes up and down. I might just take this off, you'll notice it's FMS, but it's blocking my microphone. Go right from here, eh? All right, here's the one, you can hear it, you can feel it through the camera. Look at the prop, it's windmilling. I'm not doing anything, there's no throttle there. That's wind. Okay, I'm nervous. We've got to a spectator. He's probably worried about us. Quick flight control check. The gyro is off, guys. You should always fly for the first time with the gyro off. Controls are good. I'm not good. I'm nervous. Are you ready? I'm ready. Corsair Juliet Oscar Echo. Wind 270 degrees, 30 knots, gusting 60 knots. <laughs> Look, there's zero throttle. That is windmilling, guys. Runway 29, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 29. All right, let's go. It's actually probably more cross with the table. All right, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> that was the ugliest take I've seen in my life. We're up, we're up, we're up. Okay, that was hideous, guys. <laughs> that was, I, I apologize. Just hopefully we're getting that, uh, that gear angle. Hopefully the gear's all good. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the one. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put into the AS3X. Oh, well, you know, it's not AS3X because it's a reflex system, but it's, it's like it. Okay, so we've got that uh, reflex gyro working now. And now I'm relaxing a little bit. So I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> uh, felt very twitchy in the roll, and then a bit more expo, I think, in the roll. Ready? I don't know how I'm gonna land this thing, Amber. I have no idea how I'm gonna land this thing. There we go. Oh man, it feels a little bit underpowered, you know? It's nice though. It's nice. But I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard to tell because it's going into such a strong wind, you know? But here we go, we've got a bit of a tailwind here. We'll do something now, ready? Whoa, well they're pretty quick. I'm coming close. <laughs> that is sweet. So nice. Whoa, look at that roll rate. Man. So we're in high rates, and I have done it as per the manual, but it didn't tell me any expo, so I just sort of, I mean, I use about 15% on everything. Here we go. <laughs> this looks sweet. All right, let's see uh, what we could do. Haven't done any loops yet. We'll do a loop, we'll come around. Oh, that was the ugliest loop of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good, we're just having fun here, man. And up. Oh, it doesn't, and I can tell right away, This it feels like it needs a little bit more power, Amber. Like it needs a six cell. I did put five minutes, but I might go a little bit longer. All right, we're gonna try, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get up a bit, and then we'll go into safe and see what happens. So there's safe enabled. Now, remember I did uh, download the Corsair 1400mm file from the website, the Reflex website and I got all the, the correct software on board. And yeah, safe mode works perfectly fine. Look, it's in safe at the moment. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and see what its max bank angle is. All right, and there we go, I'm at max left bank. That's max bank to the left, and max bank to the right. Oh, it's going a lot further over to the right than the left. That could be the wind as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh yeah, that's working. Now let's see for pitch. 
limit and it bits right up okay there's full up full up safe is working fine on this fms course here good good i'm thinking do i land in safe oh i think you should <laughs> Right now we're going to come in for a practice approach. We're going to go. We're going to take one stage of flat and just see what that's like. Oh dear! I'm bringing the throttle down. I feel like I should stand Ready? behind no, you. No, 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 no. Got one stage of flat out here, guys. Man, look, it's almost hovering. Look at that. You get that? Yeah. It's like hovering there. Whoa! Oh my oh. goodness! I almost oh. killed myself. Oh. What about me? That was yeah. I was killed I'm both of us. I'm here too. Oh man, that oh was God. a close one. I don't know how this is going to end, guys. Look at that, the roll rate's pretty good. I've got to start preparing myself for landing. Go one stage of flap again. Okay. We'll go gear down. It's a bit scary, actually. I'm zooming oh, right tricky, out, man. guys, to get the full effect. I'm worried about those guys, those spectators off to the, to the right there. I don't want to hit them. Here we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, nah, it's over for this plane, I think. It's going to be a tricky one. I could have landed there. I could have oh, landed there. But I, uh, I wave the flap, wave the down. gear. I just wanted to get a press approach in. All right, so this time, it might be the time. Ready? I am. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I'm playing with fire now. Yes. Okay, now we're coming in for the landing. Um, I'm going to go one stage of flap with the gear down. We're going one stage. All the way ballooning up. I'm staying zoomed out so for the landing, hard. guys. I'm down at about 40% throttle here. Now let's hope. I'm scared. Oh, this is hard. It's hard coming towards us like this. I know. Oh, we will take it. We will take that landing. It looks like the right landing gear might have collapsed. Well, let's go <laughs> check it out. Throttle cutter's on. The cameras are still attached. It's good to see. And we have one collapsed landing gear but it doesn't look like it's damaged. So you saw that day, it was crazy windy. Not a great idea to main a plane when it's super windy. Today, it's kind of still windy, but we're still not really learning. We're not really learning, are we, Amber? But we want to get a flight done with the recommended battery. This is a 2600 milliamp soft shell LiPo battery. I've switched around the connectors, so there's no need for adapters. Let's chuck this to the plane and get up in the air. Oh, and this time, it's also got all its bombs and fuel tanks attached. Oh, second flight. We're going flat, fun for takeoff. I'm in. The stabilization mode or optimize that is 3x mode. I am procrastinating because I am nervous because it is still windy. You don't want to miss this. And it's up. We'll take it. We'll take it. Gear is up. It's coming up slowly. And flap is up. And we are away. So in the manual it says with the uh, the tanks and the bombs attached that uh, you should not do any aerobatics at all. But what do you reckon? Are we gonna are we gonna be listening to that? I don't think so. <laughs> it does need a lot of trimming because of the fact that it had a 5,000 million battery in there yesterday. Uh, very nose heavy. Now it's uh, better balanced with the recommended. We need to do something like inverted. We're inverted. Coming out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's still very windy, Amber. Yeah. It's the thing in New Zealand, man, the weather's always doing something, you know? Very gusty. You got some towering cumulus over there. Well, you did earlier on. It's a lot of conviction. A lot of instability in the air. You can see it, it just goes past. Definitely want that, uh, Stabilization working for you today. Okay, I'm gonna come in. I wouldn't do a full flap yesterday, so I'm gonna come in into wind and we're gonna go as slow as we can. Let's see what it looks like. You ready? Okay, I've got one one stage of flap down now. And this is the first time we've ever gone full flap because it's ballooning up. Look, it's almost hovering in space. You could really see yeah, that wind's strong, man. You can tell. Ready? Yes. How cool was that? How cool was that? Yes. And we're going out. Away with the flap. Oh man, this is going to be a hard landing, Ember. That's, that's, that's one problem with this plane, guys, is there's no suspension at all on that landing gear. 
And that is a problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I had it, I had it. I had it. Did you though? Yeah. I had it. Uh, I'll be at full throttle almost this whole entire flight. Ready, we're gonna go into a bit of a vertical here. Let's see it a little bit underpowered. Full throttle coming out of that dive there. Into wind. We'll do another one up this way. It's very twitchy, but I do think that is the weather. Full, part, full speed, full speed. <laughs> right. With the wind it does, but you know, like I said yesterday, say it again today, it does feel a little bit underpowered. But it's still got enough power, it's still got plenty of power. It just feels like it needs a little bit more. Alright, so this time I'm going to do a practice approach. That was my, uh, that was actually embarrassingly my practice approach. <laughs> uh, so this time I'll get the gear down, downwind. So the gear is on its way down, it takes about 10 minutes to come down, so... Whoa, look at that! You can see that wind, right? It's throwing a little over the show. Okay. Alright, ready? So, turning final. One stage of flap out. We'll probably land with one stage today. And I'm going to come in with a bit more speed than I did yesterday. If it looks good, I might land. Oh man, this is hard ever. Oh. We'll take it, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll God. take it, it was, it was better than yesterday. <laughs> that, was, that was a beautiful landing guys, that was a beautiful landing. I think you guys can tell by now that I absolutely love warbirds and this course here is no exception to that. This plane looks great, it flies great and it did pretty well considering the weather conditions we had today. It was gusty out there man, but having that reflex gyro installed into this plane definitely made its apparent stability a lot better. It just flew a lot nicer when we did enable that uh, gyro. And also having that mode that's like safe mode from Spectrum, having that mode means it is more beginner friendly if this is maybe your third or fourth plane. But I I recommend this to a beginner for their first plane? Absolutely not. This possibly could be your second warbird or it could be your third plane. Now there are a couple of improvements that I would have liked to see on this plane or in a, in a later version if a newer version does come. And the first thing I would like to see on this plane is suspension added to that landing gear. Yeah, I mean, my landings were pretty hard and you saw that first landing, the undercarriage collapsed and that was due to my hard landing. But had it had some suspension, who knows? Who knows, it might have survived, it might not have collapsed. So that would be one thing I'd definitely like to see on this plane. And the second thing, we talked about it, uh, you know, I talked about it a little bit in that flight, is it would be nice to see maybe a bit more power, a bigger power system. I think this plane wants 6S, Amber. They want 6S. Let us know in the comments down below if you want us to convert this 4S Corsair into a 6S Corsair and then we'll revisit this plane in the future with 6S power and see what it's capable of. With 4S, it's got plenty of power enough and it's probably more scale to be on from 4S. But I don't know, after flying that Avios Spitfire and flying the T28 on 4S, I just want more power. I want to do crazy stuff with my plane so I would like to see a little bit more power out of this, especially if they come out with a later version in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check out our Spitfire video. It's absolutely epic. I think you guys will love that too. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and give it a like if you didn't enjoy it. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. I'm Joe. I'm Amber. Subscribe. <laughs> We're the RC Kiwis. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.